Hi everyone and welcome back to the Maths Man YouTube channel. In today's video I am going to be showing you how to multiply a four digit number by a two digit number using long multiplication. Let's learn it, let's learn it now. So when doing long multiplication the first thing that we need to do is make sure we set out the question correctly and in the correct columns. So if I have a question like this, 5,625 uh, multiplied by 26. Okay, then I'm going to draw a line. What's very important to remember is that one number needs to go in each individual square in your maths book. Okay? Now, I have a two digit number here and I'm going to be multiplying a four digit number. Now, I'm always going to start with the unit okay so this is the units column here i'm going to be starting with the unit so this six i'm going to multiply with all of these four digits so six multiplied by five that is 30. so the answer is 30 but because i can only write one number per box I'm going to write the 3 here. So can you see how that says 30 there? Now I'm going to multiply 6 by 2. So the answer to that is 12. But I need to remember this 3 here that I have carried. And that gives me 15. Now I need to do 6 multiplied by 6. That is 36, and then we need to add the one that we have carried, and that makes 37. Then finally I need to do 6 multiplied by 5. So 6 multiplied by 5 is 30, and then this 3 here that I have carried makes 33. Okay. Now, now I'm going to go and I'm going to multiply this number here. So this number is 20, because it's in the tens column. Okay? Because this number is in the tens column, I actually need to start with a zero. Okay? I need to put a zero there first. Then I just do the exact same as I did with this number. I multiply each number in order. So this here, 2 multiplied by 5 makes 10. See again how I put the, the carried number here. 2 multiplied by 2 is 4, plus the 1 that I've carried makes 5. 2 multiplied by 6 is 12 and then 2 multiplied by 5 is 10 and then this one here that I carried makes 11 the final thing to do once you've completed all of the multiplications is then to add all of this up. Always start with the units. So zero add zero is zero. Five add zero is five. Seven add five is 12. Three add two plus this one here makes 6, 3 add 1 makes 4, and then nothing add 1 
is 1. So the final answer is 146,250. Thanks again for watching today's video. Hopefully this was a useful reminder on how to complete long multiplication when multiplying a four digit number and a two digit number together. If you did like this video, then please smash that like button down below and I will catch you in the next video.